in a little over 10 minutes from now, Meghan Markle will leave Cliveden House Hotel. And by the time she gets here, just before the service, the first members of the Kevin, royal family will be this? ready. I don't mean to interrupt in you, but orange, who was that in that orange In that outfit? orange. I didn't see it. Um, but somebody, it is please beautiful. tell us who that is. Okay, go ahead. But she's and then I'm still trying to figure out who that woman is in the you orange. You love that dress, didn't you? <laughs> I love the dress and just her attitude. She's like, I have arrived. You know who I am. And I'm trying to figure out who is she. The mystery woman in the orange dress was Janine Gavinker, an actress. She was in Star Wars and True Blood. But the point is, the hostess could not let her go. She really wanted to know who this woman was over Queen Elizabeth and the royal reports. Oh, who cares about that? We're, we're not reporting the royal wedding or anything. But who is this woman in the orange dress? Now, she stood out a lot because she had a high status walk. So really this high status walk or leadership walk is when you project your confidence, okay? When you project that I am somebody to follow. I'm somebody to pay attention to. Now, I'm going to show you a second clip, and it's going to be of Marilyn Monroe, and she's also in an orange dress, and gentlemen prefer blondes. Now, I want you to really notice how she not only projects herself, but her whole entire body. <laughs> Even though there's two people in this scene, you can clearly see Marilyn Monroe has a very specific style of walking, right? It really, really grabs your attention. Whether you're a woman or a man, every high status walk and leadership style walk has three key components. The first one is posture. So. A leadership style walk requires you to not be hunched all the way over or overextended, okay? It's just a neutral posture. Here's a quick tip from an ex-dancer. So in the ballet world, they do this analogy all the time where you imagine a string going up your spine and through the top of your head and you pull that string up. All right, and that is how you create your neutral posture. Make sure your shoulders are not up, just bring it down, right? So string up and then shoulders down, and that's how you create perfect posture. The second thing is they all walk with purpose. None of them are looking down like, oh, I don't know what's going on. They're not looking up like, I don't know what's going on, right? <laughs> because that's what it signifies, okay? Or maybe unsure or unconfident. But when you have a walk of purpose, you know exactly where you're walking and you are going towards it. That does not mean that you are walking fast. Oftentimes, it means you're walking slow when you know exactly where you're going. So people tend to like to follow that. There's a psychological thing that happens when you see somebody who is walking with purpose and intent and that energy is there, the posture is there, then you really are drawn to them and you almost want to know where they are going, right? Because you just want to follow them. It's that kind of energy that is brought up. The third and final one is to just have your arms remaining somewhat open, somewhat spaced. It's gonna be hard to explain, so I'm gonna show you a clip here. Now, this clip is Joan Holloway from Mad Men, and you can tell just the way that she walks. First of all, posture on point. Second of all, full intention. She knows exactly where she's going. She doesn't have the need to look down, look up, or look away. She knows exactly where she is going. I also want you to pay attention to who she is walking next to. She's walking next to Peggy, and Peggy's a little bit more unsure. She's a little bit more closed off, and she's a little bit more introverted. So just based on those three key components, you can tell who is the leader. The limited their goals were. So I guess I'll put you in with Victor Manny. David Steuben got fired. Fired? People hated his work. Oh. Will I get business cards? <sighs> Please make all your requests through Bridget. You don't need to know anything about their titles. You don't need to know anything about their background. It's very, very obvious. Comment below which scene and which person you thought had the best high status walk and leadership style walking. To me, I just I just love Joan Holloway, the character. You know, Christina Hendricks is super on point. Like 
She's amazing. Now, just for the men, I'm gonna show you one more clip of Harvey Specter from Suits. I really love his confidence, his posture is of course on a point. He knows exactly where he is going, and of course he has that arm gap, okay? He has that flow, he doesn't have a weird tensity, he's just doing, he's just being. And honestly, the best way you can make that happen and incorporate that into your own life is instead of just trying to follow those three key components is to just pick somebody in your head right whether it be a character from a tv or movie or somebody in real life just pick somebody in your head that you can visual visualize and embody fully and practice it practice it in your room practice it going from your room to your kitchen practice it when you're at the grocery store when you're getting coffee it doesn't matter just practice it everywhere and at first it's gonna feel a little bit weird trust me it is because i've done it myself it's gonna feel so weird but then you start to get comfortable with it little by little little by little and by the time you have a big event whether it's a networking event or a social event you have already become it right and so it's not something that you're thinking about and that is when it is the best you don't want it have to be something you're thinking about it you want it to be second nature so let me know comment below which character or which real life person you have in mind that you are choosing to embody in order to adapt this high status leadership style walking and of course like and share if this was helpful at all to you and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and i will see you on the next video look we start on this tomorrow does this mean we're officially a team now? I wouldn't move your things in the way matter just yet. But so now you're Batman. Closer to him than Clemenza. Oh yeah, Kilmer. Clooney. Keaton. Did you really quit when you first started? Of course not, I'm not a wuss.